Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find Spelling City in the App Store, a Apple's App Store, which is available for any iOS device. First click on the App Store. And once you're in it, you want to search for Spelling City. So I clicked on the magnifying glass and I'm going to insert or type in Spelling City as my search query and it already is suggesting it so I'll just click on the first thing that comes up and eventually it should load and um, I've already downloaded this app before um, but if you haven't yet it will ask you to put in your password but since I've already downloaded it, I'm just gonna click on the cloud and it should download and uh, it'll take a little time to load and that's what the um, the little circle is showing you, which I'm sure you're used to. Then when you return to your phone, you'll see the app loading. When you open the app, it'll automatically want to go to landscape view the, the long way. And it should look something like, like this. And um, at the top of your screen, you'll see a blue button entitled Login. You want to click on that and um, make sure that you have chosen student. Now the student should have a seven digit ID number and they'll want to enter that. It'll start with 101 and then um, it will be followed by four other digits which your student should know. If not let me know and I can help you with that. I've created an example account just to demonstrate. So I put in that first number and then the password for everyone in my class is just Miller. And then once that's done, I can click login and it should work. Great. Looks like it's loading the list for the classroom. Okay, now once you're at this point, what you want to do is click on SF Reading Street Third Grade Spelling. And you'll see there are 30 lists of that. And just choose the list that um, happens to fit this week. In this particular week, we're going to be working on the list that goes with Penguin Chick 2.1. So I'll click on that and uh, then there's a variety of things you can do to practice the, um, the list. I would really recommend doing the test me regularly because it gives you feedback on your progress. What words you know and which ones you don't. I would do that like once a night. So I'm going to click on that just to demonstrate it and for this one again uh, I'll click on spelling test me because we're working on the spelling words. Just as a note, you can actually work on the vocabulary words for the story as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, but I'll click on spelling test me and always, please always do the practice test um, at home. We'll save the spelling test for school. The actual real spelling test. So I'll click on practice test. Should load. And then um, it'll say the word. Let's we'll see if we can get it to work. Oh. I set my volume down. And then, uh, once you hear it, I'm just going to guess because actually, well, maybe I can adjust my volume here. Come on. A little sugar. <laughs> well, I'm just going to type a word. It's obviously going to be wrong, but <laughs> just for demonstration purposes. And you can work all the way through the words. And when it realizes you're done, it'll tell you how you did on each. And really, <laughs> this one you can see I didn't do so hot because the first word was wrong. And um, This is just great because it gives you feedback on the ones you know and the ones you don't. Uh, there are a bunch of other games too, which you are welcome to check out. But this is the one I definitely recommend doing. If you would like more tips on how to use Spelling City or help with it, definitely let me know. And I'll try to create a video or 